Hey guys, it's Alexa, and today I'm going to teach you about Virgil. Here's a fun fact about Virgil's name. It derives from the Latin word virga, which means wand. This is based on the belief that poets in the ancient world were magic. Publius Virgilius Maro, Virgil, was born on October 15th, 70 BC, to peasant parents in Andes, Italy, in the north of Italy. His time in Andes inspired his love of the countryside in his poetry. Virgil's father was a cattle farmer who had big ambitions for his son and provided him with a law education to match. Virgil was educated in the Roman cities of Cremona and Milan till around 54 BC when he traveled to Rome to study law and rhetoric under Epidius. However, Virgil began to read and study philosophy and turned his study to Greek and Roman philosophy in Naples with a philosopher, Ciro. Although Virgil's writings address political issues, of the time, and he himself was close friends with political leaders, Virgil did not hold a political or military position during his lifetime. Virgil died on September 21st, 19 BC, in Brundisium, from a fever while traveling with the emperor. It is believed that Virgil's final words were, Mantua me genuit, calebre repunere tenet nunc, Parthenope, Calini, Pasqua, Rura, Duques which loosely translates to Manuta gave me birth, Calibria took me away, and now Naples holds me. I sing of pastures, farmers, and leaders. This references his poetry, which focuses on the Roman Empire, as told through shepherds in the Bucolix, farmers in the Georix, and soldiers in the Aeneid. Virgil's patron was Gaius Clinius Macenus, an advisor to Octavian, or Augustus, the Roman emperor of the time. Macenus was born on the 15th of April in 68 BC, and died in APC. Little is known about how Virgil met his patron, but Macenus was a well-known patron to the arts, and was a patron to many poets of the time. Historians know of Virgil's involvement with Macenus due to Virgil's small dedication to Macenus at the beginning of the Bucolics. Virgil's poetry is in the pastoral genre, meaning that his poems follow the lives of characters of humble backgrounds and discuss political figures and current events. Virgil's first works were the Bucolics, a collection of ten poems published around 42 to 37 BC. These poems depict the Bucolic countryside and the lives of the shepherds there. These depictions of the Bucolic countryside are connected to the depictions from the Greek poet Theocritus's world in his book Arcadia, but also use the imagery from Virgil's youth in the Roman countryside. In these poems, most notably the first and ninth ecologes, Virgil addresses political and social problems of Romans, and his own legal problems from a land dispute at the time. The Bucolics were, popular, were popularly received, and Virgil himself became very popular from them. In fact, some Romans would recite the poems on stages or in the streets. Virgil's next works were the Georics, an over 2,000-line didactic poem which took over seven years for Virgil to write. In this poem, Virgil addresses rural farming issues, through describing how to farm. While many read the poem as an almost instruction of how to farm well, it seems to have themes of political power and beauty in nature. Due to his prior popularity with Bucolics, Virgil's Georix received a lot of attention and positive reviews. Virgil's most famous work, however, is the Aeneid. The Aeneid is an epic poem, meaning it's a long narrative poem centered around a character. The story of the Aeneid is about an exiled Trojan leader, Aeneas, and his adventures with his crew after the Greeks' destruction of Troy in the 12th century BC. Virgil's story is modeled after Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, but unlike Homer, uses the character of Aeneas as a role model for how an Augustinian Roman should act and behave. It is believed that Virgil started to write the Aeneid in 30 BC in response to the time of peace occurring in the Roman Empire. Virgil was so impressed with the diplomacy of Augustus, in fact, that he dedicated the epic to the emperor. Although the Aeneid is 12 books long, it is unfinished, with Virgil spending the last 11 or so years of his life researching, writing, and editing the epic. Virgil had planned on spending another three years working on the Aeneid, whilst traveling the world and researching locations he had written about, but unfortunately died. It is believed that at his death, Virgil had asked for the unfinished Aeneid and all of its transcripts to be burned, but Emperor Augustus ignored his request and asked Varius Rufus and Plautius Tuca to edit and publish the Aeneid. Today, Virgil is one of the most famous Roman poets and is studied by Latin and English students alike. All of his works, but especially the Aeneid, are not only seen as renowned works of literature, 
but are also an active part of history and historians' understanding of the ancient world.